Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Thief Gold. My name is Ketch, thank you for joining me. Last time we were, we finished up the training exercises. We left the Keepers, Garrett, our main character here, left the Keepers and uh, is presumably uh, pursuing a uh, life or career of um, freelance thievery. So currently we are trying to sneak into Lord Bafford's manor, which we have uh, achieved. We are close to his throne room, I believe. And we're looking for the Jeweled Scepter um, with as little notice as possible. I'm not exactly sure um, how this is successful or unsuccessful. We have sort of alerted a guard here or there. Um, hopefully we can avoid that through the end of this and uh, finish up this first mission. So without further ado, let's get back to it. Last time, I believe, we had a guard kind of hanging out uh, close here. So we'll try and go a little slow here and not cause too much attention. Um, I don't think I really explored everything in this room. It's a little caught up <coughs> with um, getting towards the end of the episode. Uh, of note, I am... A oh, hello. Yeah. Let's see, what do we get? Or gold, I guess that is. Um, I am uh, uh, getting over a cold here, so uh, hopefully that won't impact my voice too much here. But uh, I might go silent for a bit. I'll cut out some coughing if that needs to happen at all. Um, I wonder if there's a way to sort of slowly open these. Sounds like this guy is right outside. The left. Oh. Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> I wonder if we can put these out with water arrows. Let's find out. No. So those are like unput outable. Possibly on his way. Might be able to get Who's this guy. there? Who said that? Don't move! Oh, come ah. on. Ah. As long as he doesn't run. Ah. 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 The last guy. Almost dead, actually. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Well, hopefully we don't get too used to seeing that one. Where does it... Hmm. Stats. Oh. Buckets picked. Backstabs. Knockouts. Healing. Oh, I do have potions I should have used. Okay, that was like a totally failed attempt at combat there. Um, if I hit replay... No, I don't really want to do that. I want to do... Um, okay, okay. I want to, like, load, right? I want to save and load. Sure. Okay. Let's give this another shot. Um, okay, so we know he's coming from that direction this time, at least. He's doing a loop. Uh, I'm not sure. But we can just avoid trying to even interact with him at all. Shoot. Nope, nope, no one's here. Must have been imagining things. Yeah. 
You were just imagining it. Don't worry, pal. Whoa. Does he have a key on him? Let's take a look while he goes past. That's something. What there? Hey, who are you? Because he keeps seeing me. Get my uh, potion ready. No, didn't even get it in time. Oh. <laughs> this is going spectacularly. Put it back up. Alright. He does have something worth pickpocketing. So. He's gonna come from that direction. And in the darkness over here, he might not see me quite as easily. So we'll see if I can sort of spot him here. Yeah. And uh, wait for him to come by and see if we can snag whatever's on his belt there. Possibly a key for one of those locked doors uh, that we can get through over there. Which I think we're gonna end up needing to find. This isn't supposed to look this way. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Must have been imagining things. Okay. Don't move. What? Okay. I mean, I'm in the light over there, I guess, is the problem. Maybe we need to, like, really get the sword going here instead. True combat here. <laughs> Use a healing potion, please. No. Oh gosh. All right. I think avoiding combat is going to be in our best interest because obviously that did not go well for me. Um, maybe I can swing around the other way. See these rooms? Like I can't put these lights out. So I don't know if it was him actually seeing me or just him sort of being on guard a little bit. I'm supposedly unseen here, you know. I wonder if I can just really get in this corner here as he goes by. Try and be just a shadow. Just a shadow. Something. What was it? There's a key, a different key. Okay, we got a couple of those keys now. Oh, I guess we had got one earlier. Let's see if we can use it here. Yup. Very cool. So I guess there's a couple of different ways to get that key. That card in here. Now, will they notice if I knock this off? Let's see. Above him, though. What's going on over there? Oh, that's actually kind of handy. Uh, hmm. I feel like I want to put out this one over here. If I can. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on. Oh, we got some splash air on there? Yeah. So I wonder if maybe... How much of a splash? Yeah, okay. Yeah, turn. Just turn right around. Yes, 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 yes. I heard the... Ah! Who are you? Crap. What is that? No. Take that! Oh, I gotta be able to win one of these. Come on, yes. Okay. Got okay, he hit the gong. I have no idea um what that means for me. But <laughs> let's uh Pretend like that didn't happen. 
It's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? Uh, that's a great question, Garrett. Healing potions, try it out. Oh my gosh, it heals one, like one. Oh, over time, over time. Is there a way to know that that's on? Oh well, maybe not. What's this? That's what we're looking for. Here we go. Now, oh, okay, great. So I guess as soon as you complete the objectives, um, mission over, mission accomplished. Uh, so let's see, how did we end up doing? 17 minutes. Um, okay, we missed so much possible loot. If we were a little bit more thorough instead of sort of beelining towards the objectives, I'm sure we could have found some of that. Um, two out of three, you know, I saw one more key on that other guard. Um, do you wonder if I missed a whole chest somewhere, like a, a nice chest? I'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, back stabs. I wonder if I can get a knife for that. Uh, damage dealt, damage taken, healing taken. Killed once. I did kill that guard at the end there. And apparently there was a body discovered. Not sure where. Let's see what we get. I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently, they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So hopefully, they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison, which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill into the north. The Hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the Hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job. Alright, so that explains a little bit more backstory about uh, Garrett and Cuddy. So Cuddy's a fence, um, sort of could figure that out, but... Um, we need to break him out. That's how we make our money. Obviously, we've got a little bit of a relationship with him, so uh, we're going to be heading down into the mines and then up towards the prison. So I did do a little bit of reading, and it looks like if I set... Oh, my. Okay. So, you know, normal, uh, hard, and expert gives a few more... Um, objectives in the mission so you know in the first mission I had two objectives get in get the thing um, this one if I want to go on normal uh, scout around break him out hard scout around break him out um, get this item uh, apparently somebody borrowed uh, my lucky hand of glory probably hit it from the hammers body search in ways you'd rather not think about okay so I probably need to go find this beggar uh, who's also in the prison um, and let's see there's bound to be some pricey religious icons try to come up with at least 500 worth of their stuff 
and escape from the prison. So I, I imagine uh, in normal difficulty, if I get to Cuddy, um, mission complete. Uh, with this difficulty, I probably need to actually leave the prison with him in tow. Um, and then expert. Um, oh, there's there's a lot more. Break him out. Oh, it's, it's actually uh, more. Okay, so sister, break him out. She'll probably be very so break another guy out. Uh, the beggar, thousand instead of five hundred. Cuddy and Basso, and not kill anyone. So, based on how my first mission went, um, I don't think expert is quite where I should be yet. I need to learn the game a little bit more. Um, but I do like the idea of having a couple more objectives in these missions, so I think I'm going to try hard. Um, if it's really not working out, um, maybe we can cut it back down to normal. That would be disappointing, though, so we'll see. Let's try it on hard. Um, so we'll have these five objectives. And based on hot tip, moss arrow. This arrow sends out a cloud of moss. Settles into a so Oh! So if I have to get somewhere where the only place I can get there through is like walking on metal, that's helpful. Speed potion. Um, a tip. Info about the haunted mines. Costs 100. Oh, so like this might update my map, um, these tips. So like one tip is 100, one tip is 300. I haven't gotten cash because I didn't get to sell the scepter to Cuddy. That's kind of bull. But possibly this cash is um, from the random odds and ends that I was able to acquire. That the Okay, so I have a noisemaker arrow. Uh, distraction, obviously, yep. Arrows for actually hitting people. I wonder if this is like a headshot type thing, you know? Like, can I hit somebody once and, and they'll go down? Because, you know, if not, it would be really unwieldy. I might have to try that out. And actually have two moss arrows, so that's useful. Uh, so I got 200 in cash, 10 water arrows. I'll probably want more of those. So let me... Oh my gosh, it's 50 for one. All right, we'll get two, I guess. Um... Healing potions, we're going to risk without. I'm going to assume I don't need them. And we'll find Cuddy, but let's uh, let's get the tip, see what that does for us. Uh, briefing, goals, no, let's give it a shot. Okay, so we are entering in the mines. Let's see what our map looks like. So I assume that we're not going to really get... A different map okay so we're starting here we're gonna go down into the mines basically and then up towards the prison I don't I wonder if this map looks differently if I had bought that tip um, or if I can actually use the tip now what does it do oh on the streets the hammers are eager to take back the top level of the haunted mines because there's a specially blessed holy water font there keep an eye out for that I guess I was hoping like for some kind of map uh, uncovery, but at least there's something. Let's see. Can I, like, use these? Oh! Oh. Okay. Oh. I wonder if there's puzzles in any way related to sort of some of these items, you know? Your ability to throw them around uh, for now. Let's move on in. And here's when we find out how long we can hold our breath for, I guess. <laughs> Don't have a ton of a choice. And. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Alright. No idea what we're getting into here. I, I do wonder, you know, it's a, it's a stealth game, you know, you're trying to avoid guards, but I wonder in a haunted mine like this, whether we're going to run into um, ghosts or, or rats or zombies or, you know, something not a guard. And as I say that, 
I'm going to to save here. Um, Cause this is terrifying me right now. Oh buddy. Uh okay, I don't why would I pick this up? Why do you have anything for me? No. You got nothing under you. Ooh. Alright, whatever. Fine. Okay. So Oh, interesting. I wonder if I can like Oh I can. But there's you know, I got a rope or anything like that, so. Oh well. That ain't happening. Do I get any more map update? No, okay. So I think I want to try and go down, right? Uh, you know, my ultimate goal is is the prison, uh, which would be through the factory. <sighs> Probably would be insane to try and get up through the barracks. I really don't want to do that, I don't think. Um, but I do want to go down and see if there's anything worth getting. So factory this way, that's towards the prison. So what about in this direction? I wonder, you know, oh yeah, these are like raw materials. I can, yeah, you just walk by, oh look, copper, like in a big clump. I'm sure I can make some money off of that. <laughs> what, what does it say that it is? Gold, 150. Now, let's keep an eye on that when we're finishing the mission because I want to see how directly that translates to, uh, you know, the money I have starting the next one. Okay, another corpse there. Just coming down here and dying. What in the... Okay, where am I now? Not sure. That is... There's a Tesla coil in here? Like, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Um, arrows? Like, stay the heck away from me. Go for a headshot. Oh, wow, you can zoom. Okay, nice shot. I'm not going to waste too many of these, but I kind of want to see if it's possible to kill this guy. I think he can't see me right now. Headshot. Shut. I'm getting the sense that these guys are not killing me. I'm done with that. See if I can just get away from him, maybe. Lose him. I feel so unprepared to handle the zombie. <laughs> I, was, I was all ready for guards. I'm gonna let him walk away. Um, we've got some interesting stuff up there to take a look at. What? Is he seeing me? All right, let's just get some distance from this guy. And I move the other corpse, and that's no problem, but this guy wants to come after me. All right, I'm gonna stop this episode here. Um, when we come back next time, we'll be exploring the mines a bit more, trying to figure out what we can do about these zombies or whether we should just be avoiding them. They do seem pretty slow, and they don't seem like they have any sort of alert mechanism, like they're going to bring more zombies in. So maybe we just, you know, go past them or just try and avoid them as best we can. But if we alert them, you know, it just keeps some distance. I wanted to see what the hell's going on with that Tesla coil. That's very intriguing. And I want to make sure we go down before we go up to try and rescue Cuddy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, for watching this Let's Play. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, I would love to hear from you, and I would love to do whatever I could to make this experience better for everyone. Um, once again, thank you so much, and I will see you next time.